I almost finished that whole song before the before Destiny even started. Yo, Bungie, fix your loading screens yet? So this is a pretty interesting story. I kind of hyped this one up in my last video because this is just fucked up. Like, I know you shouldn't judge people for things that they do, but what the fuck is this? I was going to read it. I mean, you can already see from the title of the video, but mother and son are in love and have an incredible sex life. An incredible sex life. There are many things that are acceptable to do with your mum, like a nice meal, go for ice cream, not getting balls deep. So the gist of this story is a woman called Kim and a song called Ben, Ben Dover, fuck you in the arse, cuz that's what you used to do, good one Jay. Kim gave up Ben for adoption over 30 years ago, but after meeting again, they started a blossoming relationship. If you read that, you'd go, oh that's very cute, they're um... They've got a blossoming relationship. They're um obviously they're interconnecting again. They um I haven't seen my mum in 30 years. Let me see what's new. No, this guy isn't like, oh, what are you up to, mum? What have you, what have you been up to for 30 years? I haven't really seen you. No, this guy's like, yo, can I stick my penis in you, please? They're also trying for a baby. It just gets worse. They both say that their connection is down to genetic sexual attraction. Incest. That's the word. Incest. Don't like try and make a term for it. It's like lion maker being like, oh, I'm sexually attracted to seven seven year old girls, but it's down to genetics. Like that's just what it is. That's what. That's how it. That's just how it is. And everyone's like, oh, that's okay. Then yeah, it's, it's a genetic disorder. And, uh, you fucking you fucking penis. So you're probably asking yourself, how the fuck did this happen? Like. How, how would you get from meeting a parent from 30 years ago to then placing penises in holes? Ben was married at the time that he contacted his mum, okay? Obviously, after everything that happened, you're gonna have to get divorced, right? So, he obviously, when he did that, you'd ask your, your wife, do you want to free some with my mum? Weirder things have happened in your life, you never know, you could have got that. So then Ben contacted his mum and said that he's been having sexy dreams about her. Been, his mind's been wandering about about his, uh, his little dongle down there. Wants to insert it into her fax machine. To which they then booked themselves into a hotel where they drank champagne and shared their first kiss. And it was all fucked up from there. I mean, my favourite bit about it is the fact that the mum tries to justify it. She's like, this is not incest. This is genetic fucking bullshit disorder. We are like peas in a pod and meant to be together. I know that people will be to say that we are disgusting, that we should be able to control our feelings. But when you, hit, you are hit by love so consuming, you are willing to give up everything for it. You have to fight. Fuck off! Oh, uh, we're in love, so it's okay. No one can stop us. Shut the fuck up. They're gonna have a baby, and it's just... It's just gonna be so fucked up. Baby's gonna come out looking like fucking Donald Trump's had sex with Adam Sandler. It's gonna come out like... I just don't understand, like... Sometimes I think in life that I'm quite weird and some of the things that I do are quite bizarre. But then a story like this comes along and it kind of just picks me up a little bit knowing there are more fucked up people in this world than me and that gives me some strength to carry on the day.